He said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run, if you don't want to end up like him. You've got to find something to eat. And I'll clock you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. What I'd give for a cup of tea. They've really gone out of their way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. Roger, I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor is going to kill us. She's going to tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. And, well, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's going to send us both away. Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. <laughs> this is for you. Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh, you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. <laughs> Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. Roger? You okay, Roger you're Sandy. Joy. Immediately. Roger! I'm a sandwich, 45 minutes. Still waiting for the sandwich. I don't hear any James! You Roger. take your joy immediately. Stop fucking the James! Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage. 
an impedimentus to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... When you learn ge- When you... I don't want to learn German! You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German! It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. You can take your joy immediately. Oh, hello. You're not James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh... These chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door, either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers. Or gates. Or clever locks. Or peepers. Or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Either she's as brilliant as Sally and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? <laughs> Save a bit for the next minute. Well, it was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Motilene, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. <gasps> Cells, I could fill them up too. Just uh, watching the day go by. Do you know the general, Sally? 
That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. When did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? Idiots out there. They'd only set themselves on fire again. Um, what do you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes, uh, a portal of some kind? Um, hmm, the, uh, the going in the whole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St. George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. You can take your joy immediately. I should have said. How have you been all these? I hope this isn't too loud. Do I really have to extract three bits? Wouldn't two do? Oh dear. It's not your bloody birthday, is it? Arthur, ah, where are you? You are too old to go to Germany, are you not? I'm not gonna put one more child on that train. Oh god. I don't think I like this device at all. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. I think I used to run the hundred meters.
how everyone looks the same. That'd be ironic. I have thirst in England. So that's where I parked it. <laughs> oh dear. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But we're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. <sighs> Strange how fast all the food's going off. Bloody hell! Yeah, time to eat it. I don't think I had a terribly keen grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten. I just want them to stop screaming. That's all. Who wouldn't I kill for a sandwich? <sighs> I can't keep doing this. Off about this later. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. to just work by magic. That's perfect. I just need to make the final adjustments. Tell you what, come back tomorrow and I'll pop out of here through my wormhole and fix your precious bridge. You will take your joy immediately. You will take your joy immediately. What the hell was that? 
I hope she's all right. Maybe I should go check. You can take your joy. Kitty. Oh, for heaven's sake, she's gone! I can't believe she left without helping me. Well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. Christ, they want to electrify the masks. Are we all supposed to carry power cells in our hats? Are they completely insane? I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Oh, it doesn't kill you. Snug as a bug on a drug. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the Garden District. Toodaloo. Well, here goes. I can't believe I went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see Sally. Well, Arthur, maybe you shouldn't have been such an arse. Maybe you should have said, oh yes, Sally, do to... Talk to your friend the General for me. What a kind thing to offer. Why does God punish me for all my mistakes and let everyone else run free?
That's an awful lot of bobbies. What I'd give for a cup of tea. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You can't take your joy. Are you feeling all right? she on about? Oh dear, you look a bit down. No one saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death. can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. Lovely weather. Right as rain. Right as rain. You're acting strangely. Nothing but blue skies. Right oh. Please don't. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I oh, know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links then? Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. I need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. yourself, Arthur. Stop making us miserable! They did it! I know they did! Fight them! I'll chew you up, all right. I'm parched.
hope I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. entirely too good. Simon says, step on one lift platform. Simon says, step on two platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. <laughs> Fabulous! Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. <laughs> I'm at the bridge to the parade. There's just one more bridge, and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm finally out of Wellington Wells. I'd really better find something to drink soon.
Think you can defy authority? Why won't you cheer up? Come out and take your medicine. I only want to help you feel better. Oh, I love a game of hide and seek. Don't you even think about coming back. You've got to find something to eat. How are you? You don't... When you wake up, you'll expect me. to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. 
I'm not crazy, but I am always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You are always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really, really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just go. Oh, I meant to say, cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us glass. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. God, I'm famished. That'd be ironic. I have thirst in England. I don't think I've been in Hayworth Labs since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sir, there has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but uh, I, I, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? <laughs> Have you got your press pass? Well, I uh, left it at the office. Well then, <laughs> you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Au Courant. See if she's got a spare press pass. office. That was fun, being a reporter. Receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? 
We just have to have faith. That's all. She'll come back with the coffee. We just have to pray she will. Of a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. If I don't get some coffee soon, I'm gonna shoot somebody. I can't stand tea. I must have coffee. Sprouted barley grains. But after all this beer tea. Word, by the way, after being poured on the fermented beer, get away from there. I'm not calling the police. Joy, darling, take joy. Stop being so So forth. Pardon me? Pardon me? Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? If you don't stop pestering me, I'll murder someone, I swear I will! She looks familiar, doesn't she? You won't get away don't with this! Be a drag, baby! What have we come to?
Let's see if I can get Mrs. Oliphant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. That were all true. Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. <laughs> 